Hey there everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm back with some more Bear With Me. I love this game, so let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and take the control keys. What? Oh, okay, that's right. I gotta be looking at the control panel first. Alright, let's Kay. give it a shot. So when I last left off, we just fished the keys out of the vent. So let's go ahead and put the keys in here. There. It's coming down. There we, we did go. It, All right. So now I guess we can head over to the uh, storage units that we saw over there. So let's go and see what is in the container terminal. I swear, like, half of this gameplay is just watching the character walk. Alright, so what do we got here? We got some... No seagull signs. They really hate seagulls, jeez. <laughs> they even have it painted on the floor. Okay. I wonder what's inside all of these containers. You don't want to know. I think I do want to know, though, actually. What is inside these containers? Maybe... Funny, but... Funny ain't gonna work, alright. That didn't work either. Wait a Funny. second, I got popcorn. If I throw the popcorn down... Popcorn, popcorn. There's popcorn. That, that won't. If we throw the popcorn down, I'll make the seagulls come. And then, when the seagulls come, something might happen. Hey! Maybe? Maybe? Yes! Seagull! What up, dude? How you doing? You wanna eat some popcorn? Yeah, you eat that popcorn. Okay. Uh oh. Filthy <laughs> beasts. Ah, that one. That one over there. He's the Michael. I mean, he's the ringleader, Ted. You know? You know what they're doing, don't you? Seagulls. Yeah. Generally, they fly around looking for fish and making annoying sounds, but. No, 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 no. Open your eyes. Surveillance, Ted. Surveillance? They're the flying cameras. They monitor the entire city from up there. The seagulls? No, bear. <laughs> They're just the means. Huh. It's good to see you again, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're just a good little crazy too, there, dude. Is that All the right. She's grown. Hi, CBG. Long time no see. It's been too long, kid. Why the hell would you bring her here, Ted? It's not safe for her anymore. What do you mean? The city is not your playground anymore, girl. Not since that monster showed up. You're talking about Red? Shh. Keep your voices down. Especially with all them birds around. All right. Um, how are you holding up? You seem how are you holding a up? little the, edgy. We've heard you've been scaring the harbor workers around here lately. No, no, no. They're okay. Hardworking bunch. The salt of the sea and all that jazz. They get scared easily is all. Are you using your deep voice when you're talking to them? No! I got old. Hurts my throat nowadays. <laughs> okay. So, we're looking for Flint. Have you seen him? We're looking for Flint. Yeah. He's gone missing, and we fear the Red Man had something to do with it. Or at least, we hope he's hiding here in the city. Flint? You two came to the wrong place to look for him. Paper City is the place where people usually end up to go missing. Okay, so I gather you didn't see him. Did you have the time to look around, Snoop? The city's in chaos! I could have easily missed him even if he were here. Which I doubt. Honestly, can't even remember when was the last time I saw the kid. Millie told me he was missing since last night. Oh yeah, I heard about what happened to Millie. Poor gal. Yeah, How'd you hear about it? was really sad. But how could you know about this? It happened last night, and me and the doll were the only ones there. News travels fast around here. Especially when you have a guy like Blabbermouth going around taking notes and whatnot. What happened to Millie? It oh. was our fault. It was the Red Man, girl. Even if you two were there, I doubt there was much you could have done. My words, exactly. But still. Anyways, there was no note. Nothing. It's like he vanished. Coincidentally, we found some evidence that Red was at her house at the same time Kid went missing. 
It's just too big of a coincidence. The two are connected somehow. No such thing as a coincidence, Ted. You should know this by now. Alright, so tell me about the Red Man then, since you haven't seen Flint. What do you know about Red? Here's what I know, Ted. He came down to Paper City a week ago. And now he's burning it down from the inside out. Where did he come from? He just appeared in the city one day. But the trail leads to the woods on Sorrow Hills. And I have a feeling he was invited. Invited? By whom? Think about it, Ted. The elections are coming up. There's a new candidate on the rise. The one that was dabbling in criminal activity since forever now. King. Hmm. The one and only. Oh, who is King? What makes you, think, makes it you think it was King? Have you been to the mill? It's where it all started, Ted. The police did such a sloppy job. You think someone was paying them off? The pigs. It's where we're heading next. Where? To the mill, B. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Go there, Ted. Do a little investigation of your own. Okay, but why would the king and do this? And why would King do this? He already has an entire city in his grasp. Seems odd he would bring in someone to help him, especially someone who's obviously unhinged and hard to control. For his own personal gain, I mean, the casino is still standing. Unburned. Could be just a coincidence. It could. Just that I don't believe in coincidences, girl. Okay, B. I'll bite. Let's say King really brought Red to the Paper City to get leverage on Mills. But what could King possibly offer to someone like this? There seems to be only one thing he's interested in. And you brought her right to King's doorstep. I know Red has been asking around about her. But what I want to know is why. Why? Who really has the power in Paper City? Is it the mayor? That pig? The shark and his goons? No, Ted. It's her. Amber. The girl. Yes. She made the city, and it seems he came here to tear it down instead. He won't stop until he finds her, and it seems Shark is desperate to arrange this meeting. But it seems to me, Red has his own agenda. This is what happens when you're so dependent on the tool you're using that it ends up using you. If I find out King's behind all of this, he's going down. For good this time. You go home, and stay away from the docks. For the love of God, you live in a mansion. It's where they gather, Ted! <laughs> the seagulls! Oh, yeah. I forgot about the seagulls. Come on, B. It's time to hang it up. I can't retire just yet, Ted. There's too much sadness on these streets. Still. Especially now that you're retired. You've heard about that. How could I not? The folks down at your old street held a two-day vigil. It's a damn shame, I tell you. Time waits for no bear, B. I got old. Nonsense! You're as sharp as a thumbtack, Ted. Always were. We have to go now, B. Do what you gotta do, Ted. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I found this at the steel mill the other day. Take it. See if you can analyze it, Ted. What is it? It looks like some sort of a voodoo charm. This only proves what I've been telling you about King. Hmm. Voodoo Seems charm, really? King okay. Something so obvious at the crime scene. I know, but at least take it with you. Maybe it can lead you in the right direction. All right, B. See you around. I hope you're a good golfer. CBG, can I ask you for a favor? What is it? Clark fell into the water near the diner. Can you check on him and make sure he gets out okay? Sure thing, girl. I'll get that idiot out. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we got a Batman wannabe psychopath. Okay, so we should go and see about the steel mill first, right? I was thinking maybe we could go and see Tigran Jones about the voodoo charm he found. What? I'm not going to see that witch. That's nonsense. It's not nonsense. It's a lead. If anyone can tell us more about it, it's her. You never listen to my ideas. It's always about you and your stupid clues and... Fine. Okay. Let's just hurry up. Voodoo, I mean really. But after that, we're going to the steel mill. Okay, so I guess we're going to go check out this voodoo charm then. And then we're going to head to the Steel Mill. Can I just go there from the map? Oh. All the way over there. Okay, let's go there. Paper City. I always had kind of a love-hate relationship with this place. I have to admit, and hand it to Amber, she really made this city feel the way it's supposed to be. It's gritty, dark, dirty, and unforgiving. But most of all... It feels alive. It's almost as if the city itself could be a main character in some forgotten script on the desk of a writer who shot himself before he could write an ending. Everyone here has got a story to tell, and if you lend him your ears for a couple of minutes, you can find out just about everything.
and in these dire times, that's the main reason why I decided to return. Well, at least I keep telling myself that. I have to admit, it feels good to be back. It feels right. Paper City makes sense to me. People here, they make sense to me. It was good to see Betty again. I would never say this in front of her, but I miss her sometimes, and I messed up. I did. It's good to see she's fine and well. She's always had an admirable joy for life, and I'm glad that hasn't changed. CBG, on the other hand, is getting worse by the day. Most of the time, he just raves on about seagulls and other nonsense. It's a shame, but he always had a nose for sniffing out the bad, especially in this rotten place. Our best bet now is to retrace his steps and see if he overlooked anything. My gut tells me we should follow the steel mill lead, but the doll insists we seek out Tigran Jones first. I have little faith in this voodoo nonsense, and I'll play along for now. In any case, the thing I know is we have a long night ahead of us. The doll and I, a long, long night. All right, let's hope she can help us figure out this voodoo nonsense. I'm with Ted on this. I think we should just head to the steel meal. I think the voodoo dumb. Ted, oh. it's him. He's here. Ted, go get Ted? him. Why are you standing here? Ooh. Oh. I'm here, doll. What's going on? Did you... Did you not see him? Him? The red what? one was just here. Where? Right in front of us. Where did you go? I literally didn't leave your side the whole time. What the hell are you talking about? I... What I just happened? I don't know, but he was here. I saw him, Ted. Okay, just breathe. There was no one here, doll. This alley is dark and creepy. And it could have been anything, really. No, this was different. It was like that couple of times back at the house, remember? I guess. There were writings on the wall again. What did it say? I couldn't read it. I was really scared out of my mind. Something like, go get him, or something like that. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It's just, when we were back at the house, I could see it too. But now I couldn't. That is a bit strange. Let's just keep going. This stupid voodoo lead won't follow itself. You're stupid. <laughs> yeah. It was weird how the ambiance noise just like cut out. Are you sure this is it? Doesn't seem like anyone would live here, doll. Of course I'm sure. We just have to find an entrance, I guess. This is so stupid. Why? Because it's my lead and not yours? No, because we're walking around dirty back alleys instead of focusing on the important parts of the investigation. What about the voodoo charm CBG gave us? Tigran could know something about it. It could lead us to Flint. It could lead us to our untimely deaths as well. Have you forgotten who it is you're looking for? I can talk to her. Would you relax? That's really ambitious. It's like saying you'll be fine when falling into a volcano when you know how to swim. Stop being so negative all the time and help me find an entrance. Fine. What about that note over there? Or, you know, whatever. Hmm. I think you're on to something, Snoop. Let's check it out. All right, let's check out this note. What does this note have to say? It's a ritual note. Oh, I may be reading it's a bad idea. What does it say? Back in 20? No, it's really ambiguous. Wow, that's a big word for a 10-year-old. I read at the 8th <laughs> grade level, mind you. Okay, so now what? I don't know. I'll take this note with me and we can come back later. Maybe we can find out something more about all of this in the meantime. Sure. Can we go and see about the steel mill now? Okay, fine. Let's do what you want to do, like always. Okay, thank you. Ugh. All right. So we got that note. Uh... I am not touching that. End of discussion. I want to I wanna look at this stuff first before we leave, in case we can find something to take with us. Couldn't be clearer. Oh, I have to enter... I bet this is air. As I live and breathe. Oh, there's like a bunch of different charms. Okay. Weird. All right. Uh, back out of that. Why Let's did I not the... think of that sooner? A piece of lumber will crack this case. Brilliant. You don't know. It could. But I wanted the chalk. That's what I wanted. It's advisable to carry a piece of chalk with you at all times. You know, just in case. Can't tell if these are teeth or ribs. Either way, 
that has no place on a wall. I, I they kind of look like ribs to me. I think they're ribs. Okay, so I guess we'll go ahead and head to the uh, steel mill. Steel mill, the mayor's mansion. Oh, we could go there now. Okay, let's head to the steel mill. Like like they want. Hey, what up, dude? Stevie. Brian? What? I'm not Brian. I'm Stevie. No, you're not. You're Brian Burke. Miss, my name is Stevie Walker. I know Brian Burke. We work together and we look nothing alike. Are you kidding? <laughs> you're identical. Is that mustache real? Of course it is. Why? Does Please, Brian have a fake mustache? No, no, he has a real mustache, and it's better than yours. <laughs> he wishes. Wait, so am I supposed to play along and pretend you're not really Mike? Who's Mike? Ugh, he means Brian. <laughs> I'm not Brian. We're totally different. He's a whiny, flat-faced nerd, and I'm the devil may care dangerous and super handsome type. Just look at my mustache. Look at it! They're kind of sleazy. Are you also the sleazy type? Is there something I wonder if his mustache is going to fall off too. Crime scene, so you know, carry on. Can we have a look see inside? Absolutely not. Doll, I got this. I know how these things go down. So, Sammy, Stevie, is there something we can get you to make your shift here a bit more comfortable? Are you suggesting a bribe? Cuz that might be a federal offense. Might be. You're not sure. I am not, actually. I mean, it's a type of offense for sure. Listen, I know how much you guys make. It's not a lot. What do you say? We give you a little something-something, and you let us snoop around for, like, a minute. Hmm, I don't know. Come on, man. I thought we were dealing with the devil-may-care dangerous guy here. <sighs> Guess I was wrong. Whoa, whoa, you are. I mean, I am dangerous and handsome. So handsome. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting dizzy over here, Ted. Doll's getting dizzy over there, Stan. Okay, fine. What do you have? What? Isn't that how these things go down? You have to give me something that's like the definition of a bribe. <sighs> I haven't thought this through, to be honest. Well, we don't have any money. What? You're terrible at this. Away with you both. Come back when you can actually follow up on your offer. <laughs> I don't know. We got um, some chalk. You want some chalk? I don't want to waste it. All right. We got a uh, voodoo charm, huh? You want a voodoo charm? Let us in, or I'll shrink your head. Is that a thing? Okay, that doesn't work. Hey, how about how about a fish skeleton? Hmm. How about this nice comb for your mustache? What am I supposed to do with this? Well, if you put it like that. Hmm. We do have a coin. Money. Bribe. Mm. Hey, how about a proper old-fashioned bribe? Hmm. I don't know. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Here. A level six sword. Would you care for this level six sword? Finest Italian craftsmanship. What am I supposed to do with this? Defend yourself? Hang it on your wall? I don't know. How about some oil? That would be You look fun, thirsty. But no. Okay. Fuck. Pan flip. You want this, don't you? There you go, buddy. You're welcome. The amazing world of bubbles. What the hell is this? It's a pamphlet. Oh, I can't believe that actually worked. What the hell? It's your ticket out of here. The one chance to make it. Mom's spaghetti and all that. What am I supposed to do with this? Read it cover to cover. Take a seminar or two. Boom. You're in. In where? The big leagues, buddy. The big leagues. Is that a thing? Oh, it is, Stevie. I've seen it. Really? How was it? They... they should have sent a poet. Can you feel it, buddy? Feel what? The warmth. I can feel it. What is it? It's a blanket made of money, keeping you warm on the cold winter nights. A blanket made of... Money. <laughs> I can't believe this All actually right, worked. What in. the hell? Nothing in there but rubble and ash anyways. <laughs> Idiot. Once I'm a billionaire, I'll buy the police station and fire that stupid rich. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Stupid rich with his stupid wife and stupid kids. Stupid happiness. Let's go in. Let that idiot dream. Wow, he's really gullible. That's not a good quality for a police officer. Yeah, and taking a bribe is. Good point. Okay. Well, I want the steel pipe, so let's take that. I'll just confiscate this, obviously. 
Okay, we got that. We can't take the radio, and we can't take... Okay, I guess we'll just head inside. Shouldn't we, like, uh... What? You know, establish a perimeter? What does that even mean? <laughs> Besides, do I look like a cop to you? No, you look like a homeless man. Well, bear. Is it the stubble? It's more your posture and the dusty yeah. old suit. That's the color. It's dust noir. A dusty dark. Uh, color. It's just dust, Ted. It's falling off of you. Yeah, well, this place is dusty. It's dusting up my... You're dusty. Now, let's get to work, God damn it! I don't feel like standing inside a burned-down factory at night for some reason. Alright, guys, that's going to be it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!